Nvidia just dropped the most exciting announcement coming from CES, G-Sync Pulsar. We're talking about VRR with a strobing at the same time, bro. Finally. So if you don't know what this is, very simple. In a certain range, in a certain VRR range, which hasn't been specified, and of course, it might depend on the monitor, you're just going to get your FPS looking like if it was a higher FPS, if that makes any sense. So for example, let's say you're getting 100 frames per second. That is going to look in motion like 400, okay? What if you're getting 120 FPS? Well, it's gonna look like 480, okay? So from this marketing material, we see a range going from 100 Hertz to 360 Hertz. So within that range, this VRR is going to work with a strobing, which is improving the motion clarity by reducing the persistence, the pixel visibility time. So now, why is this so new? Why, why didn't we have this before? We kind of had it, but with a bunch of issues, especially flickering becomes a challenge when you start doing this pulse width modulation with uh, VRR at the same time, because the, the flickering perception, it, it might, become more noticeable if you're changing the frame rate, okay? But somehow, they are saying that they just fixed that and it just works, okay? So now my question is, and this is what has me like really excited about this, okay? Because usually, you know, strobing or the best strobing that we have available is on LCD screens. And we know the picture quality is not the best because the contrast is low. Okay, the black levels are very bad, but this is the thing that has me very excited about this. I'm not expecting OLED, okay? I'm, of course not. Why? Because the OLEDs are not bright enough. But, but, NVIDIA is saying, okay? They are saying that, okay, this re represents a leap beyond incremental updates or a combination of existing technologies. They are saying that this is a radical rethinking of display technology. Can you imagine? They just drop self-emissive RGB something. I don't know what it is. Phosphorus or plasma whatever it's like it's a new technology that's what they're saying okay they're saying this is not a combination of existing technology so what is it are we going to get perfect blacks with this because if that is the case bro take my money okay i'm just gonna i'm, I'm just gonna drop it okay it's, it's one after the other okay it's it i'm just dropping everything i have I <laughs> mind that thing, okay? Because that's just end game. End gaming monitor. Now, don't get too excited about it. I'm still expecting LCD with a matte finish, <laughs> which is uh, it's going to absolutely suck, okay? But the motion cloud is going to be fantastic with VRR. That's exactly what we need, okay? But you let me know. What do you think is this? It is a, it's a brand new thing. That's what NVIDIA is saying. So you cannot say this and then just come out with LCD. Okay, you have to come out with something new. And if it's something new and it is good enough to do all these things, it should be very bright for sure. So we're gonna, we should get a, a very good HDR experience, okay? With this off, of course. So it should be a monitor that just sample and hold brightness is eye searing, okay? And hopefully, it has great contrast. Man, no, not a lot of details here, but yeah. <laughs> it's just, 
So here's the thing. Let me just explain something before I end this video. Let's, let's talk a little bit more about, about this, okay? Because I do have some understanding about motion clarity. So we cannot get the same motion clarity if the frame rate is changing just because the brightness is going to change, okay? So when the, when the FPS goes down, the hertz go down, you will also get less motion clarity, okay? That's to be expected. So this is not gonna be like just a rock solid motion clarity that it is always max out no matter what the FPS is, okay? You will get a reduction in the motion clarity. And let me tell you exactly how good this is. Okay, let's say you buy this hypothetical monitor. They are saying they are talking about 4x motion clarity. So they are reducing the persistence, the pixel visibility time. They are reducing that in 4x. So at 100 hertz, for example, if you open this UFO test and you change the speed to, let's say, 480 pixels per second, that's going to look almost perfect. Okay? Almost perfect. That's what you can expect at 100 FPS. So you can try, for example, right now, you can try the monitor you currently have and see how it looks at 480 pixels per second. Just open the UFO test. You change the speed. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I just changed the separation. Just change this. Change the speed to 480 pixels per second. Take a look at that. It might be a blurry mess. Okay, with that monitor, that's going to be looking almost perfect at just 100 hertz. Just... Make sure you have 100% scaling and no zoom on the browser to do an accurate testing. That's, that's how good that monitor is going to be. So also, hopefully, the clarity is the same no matter where you are on the screen. Because with this LCD monitors, but again, it, it is not. I'm not expecting LCD. So what is it? I don't know. But... You're, you're getting sometimes like a different clarity depending on where you are on the screen. Um, and that doesn't happen with this uh, OLED technology. For example, when you use OLED Motion Pro or, you know, the, the PWM version here with OLEDs, it's just, it, this is the same. It doesn't matter where you are on the screen. So hopefully with that monitor, you get the same clarity or as close as possible, no matter where you are on the screen so yeah that's just with 100 fps that's how good it's gonna look and we're talking about almost perfect like it looks almost like if it was not moving at all at that speed that is very very good very very good so you can only imagine just increase that fps and and you can do the math <laughs> okay it's gonna look it should look very 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 good so, but unfortunately, we don't have more details. Um, I mean, I would like to know a lot more, especially I would like them to also focus. I mean, they don't, Nvidia makes the the technology. They don't make the, the monitors, they don't calibrate them. They, but but I, want, I wish they, f they focus a little bit also on the picture quality, because of course these monitors are, design for competitive gaming but of course we want a no compromise experience if it looks great in motion i just want it to look great just period okay because yes the motion clarity might be fantastic but if you're coming from an oled it is very very tough to then go and get a smaller screen size and then on top of that terrible black levels that just it's just a no-go <laughs> but I would still be very excited and I might buy it. I, I might still buy it, even if it's an LCD, because I just want to have that motion clarity. Okay, I want to, and just especially with VRR, that's going to be fantastic. But if you give me somehow, if they manage <laughs> to just give us perfect blacks or at least you know, much better contrast, I don't know. I don't want LCDs. They're talking about something new. Okay, you give me that contrast with that brightness power, that motion clarity with VRR. And 
Yes, man. This is like, I mean, I wish this All in Motion Pro High on the LGC one, I wish I was able to have at least a window of 20 FPS. I wouldn't even ask too much. Just from 100 to 120 FPS to have that. Because sometimes the game is running at a rock solid 120 for the most part. But then you get those drops to 113 frames or 110 and then you get judder when you move the camera. Just to eliminate that, just give me a small window and I will be so happy. So that's how, how big of a deal this is. It's a huge window from 100 to 360 hertz. That's a gigantic window. Fantastic. Just so excited about it. So the monitor they're saying is gonna come out first with this technology is an Asus uh, monitor, you know, uh, Asus something, the ROG, what, you know, this kind of monitors. Uh, but yeah, no, no more details um, and no picture quality details. Of course, Nvidia is not making um, the monitor, but I don't know. I don't know how deep they are into this, uh, but yeah. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. And before we finish, before we finish, so I said I was gonna give you more details about motion um, than these numbers that I'm talking about. So for example, to tell you exactly, to tell you exactly, for example, at 120 FPS, 120 FPS, this monitor, if it is improving the motion clarity in 4X at 120 FPS, if you change the speed to 480 pixels per second, you are going to get one pic. You can potentially get, at best, that's what that's what the Blurbusters law tells you. At the very best, you can get one pixel of motion blur. Okay, at this speed, when moving at 480 pixels per second, if you're getting 120 fps. Okay, so that's the that's the most precise description that I can give you. And one pixel of motion blur means as good as you can um, perceive, basically. So it basically means that it, is, it looks like almost like if it was not moving at all. Actually, it doesn't. It has one pixel of motion blur, but sitting at a normal viewing distance, it is gonna look almost as if it was not moving. But it actually has one pixel of motion blur, which means half a pixel of motion blur at the trailing edge and half a pixel of motion blur at the leading edge. But that is considered to be as good as you can appreciate because you're not supposed to sit so close to the screen that you can actually see the individual pixels. Okay, so at a normal viewing distance, you shouldn't be able to to, to tell the, the pixels apart, okay? So that's why one pixel of motion blur is considered to be perfect, but it's not perfect, okay? And if I do this, I can definitely see the difference, okay, with this LGC One OLED. And this LGC One OLED at 120 FPS, based on my testing, it looks like 312. So it has like 3.2 milliseconds of persistence which if you ask me it is as good as I mean it can get of course it can be better and you can definitely tell the difference but it is very very good especially because we have other issues on the games today we have TAA we have ghosting coming from the games from a bunch of more issues that we need to fix first but if we were to get a game that just looks pixel perfect, no ghosting, none of that, then yes, the more motion clarity you get, you will absolutely tell that difference. And there's, I don't think that the diminishing return is at this level. Like you can definitely tell the difference with a much better motion clarity. But this LGC one using all the motion pro high at 120 FPS looks like 312 FPS. So I mean, this monitor, at 100, it's just a better, okay, it is better. But 
isn't all it so that it just looks exactly the same it doesn't matter where you are on the screen it doesn't matter it just looks exactly the same so it looks very consistent and there is absolutely no um you know crosstalk there's no ghosting it's just flawless motion clarity but again nvidia is not talking about an lcd screen they are saying it is a completely new thing so i'm gonna take their word for it <laughs> okay it might it might just be an LCD screen, but I I hope it's something new, and we've never seen before. Okay, so I'm I'm very very excited about it. You give me perfect blacks and I'm buying it. Okay, I just don't, I don't care. <laughs> of course I want you know big screen size, but if they just have you know 27 inch or 32 inch, if it is just I mean, if it's 1080p, 27 inch, it's going to be like, man, go, going back to 1080p. But if it's 1440p, good contrast, you know, 27 inch, or if it was 32 4K, it would be better, of course. And it, I, I mean, if it was 48 or 55 inches, even better, okay? And I would definitely, you know, pay the extra for it. Uh, because, I, you know, the bigger the better, in my opinion. But even if I have to go down in size, yes, man. Yes, yes, let's go. <laughs> okay, just give it to me. So, yeah, I mean, let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions.